On this video, I'm going to talk about stovetop covers and how mine stays in place even when traveling down the road. I have this stovetop cover that I had made for our RV. It ended up being very simple to give me extra counter space and I don't have to put this up while traveling. I try to make many things travel friendly and so if I can figure out a way to do that, I like to do it. Got this cutting board and I don't use this one for cutting because it does have our logo and stuff on there. There's going to be a surprise at the end, so stay to the end so that you know what my surprise is. So basically all I did is I got these rubber feet off of Amazon and I will link them in the description box below. I took my cutting board and I laid it on the counter and then I took these and laid it on top of it and then I marked and screwed in where I wanted these to be. Now only four of these actually hold it in place. The other four are just there for when you move it over on the counter because I put this to the side and use it a lot as counter space. You can even put this one over the sink because of the size of it. Now we do have the, the sink covers, but they are packed up and up under here. We had them flying out while we were going down the road, so I don't keep them out. But because this is always sitting here, and when I'm cooking, I do have to put it somewhere. So a lot of times, I will just stick it over here and put it over by the sink so that it covers that space. When I sat mine down and screwed these in to make this work, I didn't take into the count that the, the knobs are right here. I luckily, when you push mine down, it pops in and moves behind the knobs so that it doesn't affect my knobs here. But to start with, I thought that it was gonna sit down and I thought it was gonna sit on top of my knobs and not work. Cause you gotta make sure that you miss your knobs because you don't want the knobs to be pressed down. Because in some RVs that releases gas just by pressing them down. This was a great addition. It was easy to do. And now for my secret that I was going to tell you at the end, I bought one for y'all with the feet. I did not put the feet on it because each person's going to have to do it different, but I bought one for y'all. I'm going to have a giveaway on this video. And since you watched to the end, I'm going to tell you how you can enter. You need to be subscribed and you need to comment below. I just want to know what kind of camper y'all have. Fifth wheel, brand, whatever you would like to tell me about your camper. And also, if this is something that you would like. Now, if you don't have an RV and you watch my channels, you can still comment below because you could just take this and put it in your house if that was something that you wanted. I'm over the 30th, I will draw and announce on my YouTube channel who won. I'm wanting to take some of the money that I make from YouTube and from you clinking my Amazon links below and start trying to give back to y'all. There may be more videos to come where I'm going to be giving away and I'm not giving it away by saying giveaway in the title. So you're going to have to watch all my videos. Till next time and like and subscribe.